a good enough reason for them to go on strike? Well, of course. When some, if you say me, you are, you are going to pay me, and you can't pay me, then I can demand my pound of flesh. But this is a Shylock demand of flesh. I don't think that they can take Ghanaians for a ride to say that in the first place, they have to be paid. And for the government to have done that is wrong. And I think that they are taking the ordinary Ghanaian because they're suffering. What about the unemployed person? Are they more in need, are less in need of help than the public servant? I mean, we are in a national crisis and that life is difficult, I have no doubt at all. But for the government to say they are going to pay, actually, it's a bribery. Say, I'm going to bribe you so that you don't go to the opposition or vice versa. To me, it's the worst I can ever think of as someone who was in the public sector for 35 years and the head of the public service training institution. I, please pardon me. I just can't conceptualize it. And these are people who must be locked out so that Look, that means that they are all sacked and they can apply or stay at home. And I'm sure that Ghana will be better off. Already, just... already the, the strike is biting. Public service, uh, specifically some civil and local service, uh, uh, actually people are struggling to get these services done. It tells you that they are very relevant human resource to their country, isn't it? No, they are relevant. No, for the public servants not to be relevant is um, to say that one is wrong. But... This is a national crisis. If I were in government, I would lock them up, sack them, lock out with you, sack them, and then bring in the military to take care of emergencies and see what they will do. I mean, you cannot say that. A public servant said I will not go to work because you haven't paid me so that I will not support NDC or MPP. Come on. Is that where this nation is getting to? Huh? Is that what the politicians are doing to us? And is this what the civil servants are going to leave as a legacy? Come on. Let us be very, very clear that what is being asked for and being done either side is unacceptable, that there is a, a, a time of hardship. And we must think how we can uh, go over this, which I believe is not going to be permanent. How can we go over this hunch? But if you lose that time to introduce irrational policies, you make the future worse than today. And that's what is being happened. That's what's happening. We mm. must first them take the bull by the horn and let them stay home and let you bring in the military for emergency services. And after three months, just those who want to come can apply if they want to be neutral or stay home and do their